What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have a package from 5k toys. Want to see what's inside of this package? Stay tuned and let's check it out. So let's get to opening this package. And as a friend of mine would say, always have rule number nine handy. So if you're wondering why I'm doing this voiceover, well, it's because since I'm still at a state visiting my mom, uh, I really can't record and talk at the same time because I never know when I'm going to get interrupted. So that's why I'm doing the voiceover. But, yeah, let's cut open this side. Let's see what's what's inside. I mean, I know what's inside, but do you want to want to know what's inside? You might. Well, if you paid attention to the thumbnail in the description, you may already know. So, wow, this looks pretty interesting. Here, let me show you what it is. And here it is. LA Comic Con exclusive Zess Rays Red Rhino Bighorn. And it also came with this mouse pad thingy. I think it's a mouse pad. At first I thought it was a poster. But... The, the back didn't quite feel like a typical mouse pad. And, well, anyway, you know, it's pretty cool. It's definitely not the cap that other people got, but I think that is if you got it, if you attended uh, the LA Comic Con. And I didn't. A 10, I, I guess uh, 5K had some extras and I picked it up and this is what they sent. So 5Ks, if you're watching, thank you for it. So here we have the box out of the shipper box. Here's the front, LA Comic Con exclusive on the side, some comic art on the back. Very nice. And combatants fight for glory on this side. Here on the top, LA Comic Con exclusive. And on the bottom is their social media and the serial number. This is a sub cover, so let's take that off. And here on the front, I have a picture of the figure. Nice photograph. Again, combatants fight for glory on this side. Another toy photography photo of the figure. It's awesome looking. And again, more comic art. Let's get this figure out of the box. And here's a red rhino out of the box. This guy is big. He's about nine inches. Big chunky boy. So here you have the figure and its alternate feet and some alternate hands. And you also have his weapon. It's a big mace. So here you get a 360 look at the figure. The details so far are pretty awesome. Um, he's very poseable, which we'll get to here in a little bit. But I just, I think the detail on this figure is really awesome. There is some soft goods under the rubbery belt. Um, we'll get more into the articulation and everything here in just a moment. Here I have the Red Rhino standing next to McFarlane's The Seven Deadly Sins King 
and G.I. Joe Classifieds Ripper. Here's uh, G.I. Joe Classifieds Retro Crimson Guard in a Star Wars Black Series Death Watch Mandalorian. Now I'm just going to show you the articulation of the figure. One of the things that I really think is cool about this figure is the movable jaw, which I should show you right here. That I think is pretty cool, just having a figure where you can open and close its mouth. It really works for this figure. And I think the articulation in this figure is pretty good um, for it being a big figure. Like you said, he stands about nine inches. The articulation is pretty good. Uh, the details, I love the details in this figure from just the textures and look of the skin to the details about the belt and his gauntlets, even the little strap on the horn and around its ankles. Those details are pretty awesome. Uh, it does kind of have like, I would say, pseudo butterfly joints that they don't really move as much. Um, that's kind of one minor downside to me, but uh, it's not that bad. There is a little bit of movement there, but I just like how posable this figure is. And he can definitely be paired up with any Mythic Legions figures if you collect those. Um, I really don't. I do have like one uh, figure, but if you have the Fury Planet, uh, Williams, or uh, Master Wang, or any of those figures, I think they pair up well. Uh, even maybe some of the uh, Masters of the Universe Revelations line, I think those will look good with this figure. But I'm definitely happy with you know what this figure can do. I think Zess Rays did a good job with the sculpt and the articulation. Now let's see what kind of poses we can get this figure in. Here we have Ketut. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Just standing in a very intimidating pose, holding his mace. Uh... Yeah, this figure looks awesome. I wouldn't want to meet him up in a fight. And now here he's about to swing that big old mace. You can remove the belt, the gauntlet, and I think the straps around the feet. And I also changed the human feet to the rhino feet in case you didn't notice. And I think he balances pretty well, even with holding that big old mace. So I really dig this figure. And if you're interested, check out 5K Toys. I will put a link to their website on the description. That's going to basically do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also in the description, you'll find various links to my social medias. And as always, Saima says, collect what you like. Be awesome to one another. Till the next one, Nuff said.